Hello, welcome to my channel. Uh, here today with uh, oh, congratulations on finishing a book. Uh, this is going to be a full spoilers, but today's book we're reading The Three of Us by R. R. Abaji Williams. I'm sorry if I'm, I know I mispronounced that, but I am truly sorry. Uh, this is her debut novel, and it's uh, this is a advanced reader's copy. This book is just going to come out. But now I'm dating myself. But anyways, um, it was uh, it was her debut novel, so I'm gonna give it some leeway. And uh, it is an advanced reader's copy, so maybe all the punctuation. Anyways, all that aside, it was a it was a well, it was okay. I realize that it's not for me. It's not this is it's not my demographics. Uh, this is why I'm reading it. Uh, I read books that are in art uh, for me, directed at me. Uh, but uh, this story is about uh, uh, a woman who goes unnamed. The only person who gets named in this is her friend Temi. It's about a Nigerian British woman. I'm not. Uh, I'm pretty sure she. Uh, in my head, she has a British accent. I'm not sure if I was supposed to give her a Nigerian accent or not. Anyways, that's just in my head. But it uh, basically the story about her, her best friend, and her husband. And I kind of the reason why I'm thinking about this book. And this is going to be full spoilers, by the way. Uh, the reason why I'm thinking about this book is I'm a little confused. Well, of her intentions about this book. Am I not? Am I supposed to not to like these characters? Because I do not like these characters. I do not. But I'm, I'm, I'm thinking because the main character is an, a Nigerian British woman, just like the author. So I'm trying to think, is she trying to <laughs> make it so that I don't like her? But, okay, I think that we're not supposed to like them. And it's, uh, this is a short novel, uh, only 200 pages, I believe. Uh, anyways, uh, it's split up into three parts. You get the woman, you get the husband, and then you get the best friend's part. And the woman uh, who goes unnamed, you never, uh, you never know her name or her husband's name. So the wife, we'll call her. She's best friend with best friends with Tammy, who is visiting. Uh, this whole book takes place in one afternoon. And uh, right when they get started, um, they start drinking it up, talking about men. Uh, not, I didn't mind that they, you know, talk trash about men, uh, about their dating lives and how men act. I imagine that's what women talk about, how, and that's what men talk about women. And so I didn't mind that, but you get the idea that they're just very, uh, pretentious and stuck up and, uh, bougie. I would I believe what the word, and I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure it was, they're, they're like filthy rich in this. And uh, they try to come off as almost not rich. And then, well, you know, they they get drunk and the husband calls up and says, oh, I really, you know, you can already tell uh, that there's tension between the husband and the best friend. And they never really clarify why. It's just uh, unspoken kind of uh, tension between them. Well, what I figure, uh, they both want to control the wife. The wife is very uh, passive. And the husband thinks he can control her, but the best friend also wants to control her. But at the beginning, when you're just following the wife, yeah, she's just very passive. And uh, she even, she tells her friend that, yeah, we're going to uh, try to have a baby. But... In her POV, she talks about how her husband's mother was there trying to convince her. And it's just very, not off-putting, but you can see how she, uh, how she's getting, not used, but 
directed towards uh, a decision she doesn't want to make. She doesn't want to have a baby. And she tells the story of how she met her friend Tammy, which we later later figure out in Tammy's uh, in POV at the end that it wasn't an accident that they met. <laughs> but and then you get uh, to her husband's POV and he honestly, well, like I said, no, the three people, I don't like either one, but out of all three of them, I can understand his situation the, the most having to deal with a woman who is deliberately antagonizing you and your wife is allowing it i yeah uh that seems hard but then he doesn't come off very sympathetic either uh he he works too much and other than that he's just kind of a uh, passive aggressive and doesn't yeah, he, he he just seems like a like he doesn't even really like his wife either. It it feels like they don't like each other. It feels like it's just a marriage out of convenience. Is what I got out of them. That yeah, uh this is where my my life is and she fits perfectly into it. And and how he wanted and there's a uh in his chapter there's a good uh, chapter uh, in his section there's a good chapter where he talks about all the plans that they, he made for them you know not considering her feeling he even has her her career uh, yeah I'd be a stay at home wife and she could start a, a garden or something he says you know he has her hobbies planned out for her so he's very controlling but on the other hand, yeah, he is getting antagonized by her best friend. And then you get um, Tammy's POV, the which is very unreliable narrator. And uh, there's a line in here where she says she has a perfect memory. So and that always gets me because uh, I'm going off topic here. But there's another uh, the book of the new sun is a very unreliable narrator and he also claims to have a, a perfect memory but uh you see that tammy's kind of psychopathic uh kind of and she has her own plans uh her future plan for uh her friend her 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 best friend the wife and it doesn't include the husband but her friend is very uh is probably the least likable character even though she does have she says some things that are there's an underline of that fake woken folk fake wokeness that goes with liberalism and rich people in this where where okay her husband says uh you know i'm i'm all for uh equal equal rights and women should get fair pay, but he says it in a way, you know, oh yeah, they should get free tampons, of course, but he says it in that way, and uh, Tammy does uh, that too, where she's trying to antagonize him. Oh, well, think about all the missing, think about the children going hungry. You're pretty wasteful with that water. When she doesn't care about the kids or the water. She's just trying to make somebody look bad. But nobody cares about, you know, they're, they're filthy rich in this, so I'm not sure if that, I don't think you're supposed to like them. And like I said, she's a, a new author, so I'm not going to bash on her. Uh, I don't like her characters, but maybe you're not supposed to like them. Maybe I'm, you know, that's part of the reason. But, well, you could tell you're not supposed to like Tammy. And then uh, the end of the book is her basically calling uh, the husband and, well, pitting them into a situation with the birth control about, or uh, she lies, she lies to the husband. But she calls into the, she makes the husband husband question her, the the wife, and I could see that just planting the seeds as uh, you don't even trust me, and that just leads to the divorce. So, but yeah, I I, I if I'm reading it the way I like it, is that you're supposed to see these people as awful people. I love this book, but if it's that I'm supposed to sympathize with these people, I'm not sure. So. I'm going to take it that I love this book and that the unreliable narrator, just a story, a uh, one day story. It wasn't a big, uh, I'm happy that it wasn't 
oh, Tammy slept with her husband or it was a secret affair or something like that. It was just, yeah, these two people just don't like each other and they're rich and snobby. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, for a first novel, uh, like I said, uh, I'm not going to criticize the, it's an advanced reader's copy, so I'm not going to criticize the punctuation and stuff like that because uh, there's some little things in here, but uh, that could be fixed with the, uh, it's an advanced reader copy. It's not going to be the final edited. And uh, I did like some lines. There was a, <clears throat> you're not supposed to quote a book, I know, but there was some good lines where she was talking about her husband and his parents and she said, uh, well, what's the difference? And she says, uh, oh, you want what your parents want. You know, I, I didn't want what my parents want for me. And that was a good line. But, uh, yeah, and because there is a line here, too, where her husband in her POV, uh, he talks about all, you know, his rich stuff and how he's living the fancy life. And he says, well, some people at my office say I'm just a capitalist uh, puppet, uh, you know, falling for the propaganda. He's like, well, I'm okay with that. And then later on in Tammy's uh, POV, she's talking about how she's criticizing capitalism. So some contradict is making me think. And that's what a good book, a good debut novel is supposed to come and uh, about. Uh, I liked it. Five stars. Uh, first novel. Uh, I would read more from her. See what she got. I again, I'm sorry if I'm reading this wrong. Like I said, I, I think maybe she didn't. She doesn't want these people to be very likable. And if I had to pick, uh, this is just my wild guess because she's a Nigerian British woman, and the main characters in this book are British Nigerian people. I thought that she was the wife, but maybe she self-inserted herself as Tammy. The only character who got a name, so. Not that she sees herself as a bad person. You know, you put yourself into these, your stories. You write your story, you always pick. Stephen King does that shit all the time. You know, he's writing about an author. He's writing about himself. This is what authors do, I get that. Anyways, five stars. Uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Keep on keeping on.